We only had to wait one week for the AFL to rear its ugly head in the suspension scandal that is going to be going on for the whole season. The Cozzy Pickett hit on Bailey Smith and the Shane McAdams hit on Jacob Ware are almost identical, but they have a different outcome. Yet again, this is the AFL paying precedence to the outcome, not to the incident. This might be a little bit more technical than the last few that we've seen, but as a pure footy fan, this is absolutely disgusting to see. Both should have been penalised the same amount, if not, Cosy Pickett penalised more, and here's why. The match review officer graded this as careless conduct, high impact and high contact, leading to a two game ban. The Melbourne Footy Club decided to accept this ban and Cozzy is out for two weeks. After watching this initially, I honestly thought this was going to be more than two weeks. I was thinking four weeks because he did leave the ground to make the contact. He hit him head high and also Smith's head does hit the ground. Because of the way the AFL are looking at concussion protocols, I honestly thought this was going to be at least four weeks, possibly up to six weeks, citing the Stewart v Prestia incident last year. While Prestia was severely concussed from this, Bailey Smith was not concussed. He was able to play for the rest of the game. That's why I thought this might have been reduced to three at the absolute least, but most likely four games. The Western Bulldogs doctors decided not to take Bailey Smith off and test him for the HIA, the head injury assessment that's made popular by the NRL and the CTE injuries that we've recently been hearing about. I don't know why he can be hit head high and also hit his head on the ground and not be taken off for a HIA. That seems really bizarre to me. He should have been taken off and assessed for concussion. Now, if we take a look at the McAdam hit, we can see this was actually graded as careless conduct, severe impact and high contact, which means McAdams will face the tribunal and face the ban of at least three matches. It has been said on record from the AFL and AFL 360 that the reason this was classed as severe impact and not high impact is that Jacob Ware was actually taken off due to the GWS doctors and assessed for a HIA. So why does the suspension for the Crows increase due to the doctors of a GWS player? Both players should have been taken off for HIA assessments in my opinion. Both the hits were very similar, both head high and both heads hit the ground. Both should have been HIA. After all, the AFL has just recently had a class action for CTE and concussion injuries. Why are they not taking this more seriously? Just because one player gets taken off by club doctors and the other doesn't, why are the suspensions different? If anything, this actually makes GWS more accountable for their players and the Western Bulldogs not. Just because Bailey Smith bounced back up after the hit doesn't mean he doesn't have concussion doesn't mean that he's not suffering from delayed concussion, which we've seen very recently in the Buddy Franklin incident. The whole thing just doesn't make sense. Why does one get referred to tribunal and the other just gets a two week suspension, which most AFL fans will agree should have been at least four weeks. It's unfair to the people watching, it's unfair to the players, it's unfair to the clubs. The AFL trying to send a message to the clubs to not allow players off the field for HIA injuries? I'm sure they're not, but this just really does not make sense to me. It's frustrating to see and all we want as spectators and fans of the sport is consistency and that's something that we are not seeing and it's really frustrating. So AFL, please do better. If you have liked this little bit controversial video then please do leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out massively and also comment if you can. It helps the algorithm and yeah. So Shane McAdam has been sent directly to the tribunal. Tonight. Uh, so this has been graded as severe. So there's a really interesting um, nuance between McAdam and Pickett where I think the action is the same. Yep. We would agree. Yep. But the base point was medium impact because Jacob Ware was taken from the field and he was put into the concussion, concussion. protocol. Yep. He, he was not concussed. So the baseline there is medium. The baseline for um, Cozzy Pickett was low because Bailey Smith bounced straight back up, didn't receive any medical attention and, and played on undeterred.